The Tejano Monument made a 12-year journey to find its place on the south lawn of the Capitol grounds. The monument commemorates Spanish pioneers and Mexican settlers, which was unveiled by the families of the first Tejanos on March 29th. The legislator approved the nearly $2 million monument in 2001 after Dr. Cayetano Barrera, who conceived the project, noticed there weren't any statues on the Capitol honoring the first settlers in Texas during a trip in 2000. The monument consists of 12 life-size bronze statues mounted on a 250-ton slab of pink granite, which depict a Spanish explorer, a vaquero on his Mustang, a longhorn bull and cow, and a family of settlers. The three-day celebration of the monument consisted of a Texas history conference, banquet, celebration, and parade. 68-year-old Armando Enijosa, the artist who worked on the monument for the past 11 years, was honored in the parade. Dan Ariano, president of the Tejano De Genealogy Society of Austin, says the monument belongs to all Texans. The monument is awesome. It's impressive. It is a history not just of the past, but of the future. And it is not just a Tejano monument. It's a Texan monument. It belongs to all of us. Uh, every person that's here is a Texan. Every person is, that's here is a Tejano. It's the same name. It's just that one of them is in Spanish is a reminder of the untold stories and history of Spanish and Mexican settlers in, in Texas, but a $100,000 grant allows the Tejano Curriculum History Project to help keep the legacy alive by informing children of early Texas history. Director of the Curriculum Project, Emilio Zamora, along with professors from UT's College of Education, Maria Franquis and Cynthia Salinas, targeted the project for 4th through 6th graders. The curriculum will also be available online for teachers across Texas to use. Only learning uh, content, the content of the kind of history, but we hope that they're also learning to improve their writing, their right reading skills, um, critical thinking skills, because ultimately that's really what matters a whole lot, aside from the psychological um, uh, good psychological effects that, that, that a child may, may receive as a result of learning about a history that he or she can identify with. Bobby Ramirez, principal of United Middle School from Laredo, brought about 350 seventh graders to visit the new monument on March 30th. She wanted her students to know the importance of the Tejano Monument and their Hispanic heritage. Writers of the textbook uh, and the historians, which is predominantly white, his, you know, a white perspective, and it has never included the Hispanic. And uh, we know that the Hispanic has done a very, very major contribution to, to Texas history and the nation's history as well. So um, for our kids uh, on the border, it's, it's going to carry a very big impact. But it's also a call for us to rise up and fight for their rights because right now um, they're not represented the way they need to be.